Welcome to our hands-on Bitdefender malware detection test, courtesy of Best Antivirus Reviews. We are going to download and install Bitdefender Total Security 2017 in a free trial mode and test it against our private collection of uh, zero-day malware. So how do you get infected? Uh, let's talk about the most common ways uh, that malware file penetrates your PC. In this example, you can see email from Total Gas Corporation with invoice file attachment. But if you look on the sender domain that you can see here, you will see it is from netsend.biz that has nothing in common with Total Gas. So when you will open the attachment, you will be infected with a malware. Uh, one more example that we can see here is a Facebook chat with a friend that send you a link and uh, when you click on it, it will re redirect you to a site that is hosting a malware file. Another way you can be infected with AdWord type of malware is by installing a software that pretend to fix a PC problem, but at the same time use a Trojan horse approach to infest your PC with unwanted applications. Let's talk about types and infection method of malware. We can divide this slide to three parts. The first one is uh, infection method, or how did we get the malware in the first place? Uh, as you can see, we have computer virus, worm, Trojan horse, and exploits. All of them can lead to the infection method. Uh, the second part is uh, malware that focus on black hat marketing like spam or adware. And the last part is the most common uh, cybercrime, stealing your data or trying to get your money. Ransomware infection, uh, this is probably the most uh, common malware infection that we see on a daily basis for the last two years. Uh, our guess that uh, this epidemic is not going to disappear in the near future. For example, uh, this uh, server uh, ransomware encrypt all your fa personal files and uh, demand a Bitcoin payment in order to release uh, your files and uh, decrypt your data. So what we are going to do in this uh, protection hands-on test, we have a private zero-day malware collection that we collect by monitoring traffic on several ISP gateways. Uh, we will trigger a manual scan on a selected folder that contains 1000 malware. And the ultimate goal is that the tested software will recognize all the files and quarantine the infected files. So instead of seeing uh, 1,000 files on this folder, we should see eventually zero. For example, if we will go to Virus Total and try to choose one of, of, of the files in, in this folder and scan it, you will see that most antivirus software recognize this file as a malware. Um, of course, you can find some that will not recognize it, but you can see which one do recognize it and in which date they recognize this file as a malware. Let's talk about how antivirus signature engine is working. Each time you update your antivirus definition, one of the things that are being updated is the signature database. This signature uh, includes aggregated data of many uh, MD5 signatures. Uh, the MD5 signature is a string contains number and letters that can only represent one file. So if we will go to an online service, that can take a file and generate an MD5 string from this file. We can copy this file and again search 
for one item on virus total. As you can see, this MD5 string generate only one malware. So let's go on with the end zone test protocol. First thing that we're going to do is install Bitdefender Total Security 2017. Of course, update the virus definition and change the settings so uh, when we scan a folder, it will auto delete a file. After all the settings are in place, we're going to do a manual scan on the infected folder. And according to the number of files that will be left on the folder, we can conclude our test score. So let's go to Bitdefender website and we will install in trial mode the most advanced package, the Total Security 2017. I have to create an account, so I will create a demo account. Let's create an account. So you get the to the Bitdefender Central and you can install on this device by clicking this install option. Okay, and we are saving the file to the folder. We will use all default settings and also I will use fast forward so you don't have to wait till the installation is will end. Installation is finished and we can start using Bitdefender. Let's skip the tour. First thing we want to do is to update the software so we can do it from the panel. And you can see the update is in progress. Okay, the update is finished and you can see it's up to date. Another thing we want to make sure that the autopilot is set to on. So when the autopilot is on, if the system will detect it a malware, it should quarantine or delete the file immediately. So now let's go to the infected folder. As you can see here, we have 1000 files. Let's start with a manual Bitdefender scan. It will take some time. We will use fast forward in order to show you the results.
Okay, we are back. As you can see, the scan is finished. Uh, if you look on the folder, you see that there are still 52 items remaining in the folder. This, uh, the conclusion is that the detection rate of Bitdefender is 95%. This is actually a very good score. Please uh, take in mind that we are talking uh, about very new zero-day malware in this folder, so it's very difficult to uh, detect all of them. Let's do a small test. Let's choose one of the remaining files in uh, Virus Total. And as you can see, some other antivirus software, even Bitdefender, recognized this uh, uh, file as a Trojan horse, but it didn't delete it from here. We suggest that you, on your online research, you use Best Antivirus Reviews Lab Score Aggregation Tool. We have thousands of lab tests in one search tool that can help you find what is the best antivirus software. You go to the tool, choose your platform, the relevant time frame of the test. We suggest using two years and your operation system and press the calculate uh, button. It will immediately calculate what is the best antivirus software um, according to thousands of uh, lab tests available on the internet. You can see the labs from the new one to the old one from several separate laboratories. Thank you for watching this video review. Please don't forget to visit us for all your online security needs, reviews, lab tests and comparative information.